Peggy 18. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck yeah. You guys are unbelievable. It is awesome to be back here. Such a thrill. Thank you all for joining us. Um, I have to start by saying that we have an unbelievable time. So much fun with you every year at QuakeCon, but there is just nothing like these years where we get the opportunity to show you what our team is working on. It is the best thing ever. And we wouldn't want to debut Doom Eternal anywhere but right here to you at QuakeCon. Actually, uh, how many of you were here in 2014 when we shared our first look at the last Doom? Yeah. That's awesome. Well, special thanks to you for joining us again and for your continued support. Uh, also, thanks to everyone watching on the streams. It's great to have you here with us this year. So, let's get to it. You ready to rip and tear? Yeah! <laughs> that's awesome. Because literally, that's where it all starts for us. Killing badass demons with big guns in unbelievable places. Absolutely, and as the Doom Slayer, you want to feel unleashed, right? Like nothing is holding you back. To have a pure, unfiltered action FPS experience. And to do that, we started with a very simple goal. Make him the strongest and most powerful hero we've ever created. So as you can see, <laughs> in these concept illustrations, he's had a bit of an update. A modification to his armor and some new tools and abilities that make him even more lethal. Of course, nothing makes the Slayer more lethal than his guns. Like the Ballista, a gun that can spear demons with an explosive bolt. Or the Slayer's own super shotgun. I, yeah. I love this. It's like his Excalibur, and you'll notice there's a little uh, thing on the end there. We call it the meat hook, and you're going to love what you could do with that thing. It's, it's totally my new favorite. <laughs> But this is what's great. Everybody has a different favorite gun because each is a unique and powerful tool for killing the biggest and baddest demons you've ever seen. That's right, because you know a hero is only as strong as the enemies he defeats. So if you want to feel like a badass, you got to wreck some amazing bad guys along the way. And Doom Eternal has some incredible enemies. Bit of an update. Twice as many as last time. These guys are insane. Yeah. We've updated some favorites, reimagined some classics from Doom 2, like the Arachnatron, Pain Elemental. And we got some new bad guys for you to destroy, too. Check out this arch enemy of the Slayer. And how about this guy, the Marauder? You know, anybody notice he kind of looks like the Slayer? That's pretty cool. There's a story behind that. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the coolest enemies deserve the coolest deaths. So we're spending more time and energy than ever before, making sure it feels absolutely amazing every time you shoot, punch, kick, slash, or otherwise rip and tear one of the demons. Actually, we've, act we've created like a whole system for this now, and internally we call it destructible demons. You're going to get to see a lot of that. Yeah. All right. Uh... <laughs> they, they know what's coming. They That's always right. know what's coming. Ready. Yes, you're ready. <laughs> All right. Well, you know what? I know the answer to the question, but you ready to see him in action? Yeah. Let's rock.
Uh, just just taking a very very brief break. We have uh, we have a lot more to uh, a lot more gameplay from Hell on Earth to show you actually. But for this next stuff, we wanted to actually pick up the pace just a little bit. Yeah. How about we go full bore and really see what this layer can do? What? Maybe a uh, little FOV change, little mouse and keyboard. You guys like the mouse and keyboard, right? <laughs> All right. Buckle up. <laughs>
thank you. So glad you're having fun. So you probably noticed there at the end that we're now giving players the ability to take control of a demon and invade another player's campaign. That's right. You can actually even team up as demons to form a slayer hunting party. Yep. And so all just a really fun new way to add drama and unpredictability to your campaign. And, and this is just one of the ways that will allow you to enjoy Doom Eternal with your friends. Of course, it's up to you if you want to invade, be invaded, or you just want to rip and tear by yourself in your own campaign. Totally up to you. Uh, we're really excited about Invasion, and you can look forward to a lot more on this down the road. <laughs> All right, we've, uh, we've spent a bit of time so far just giving you a taste of hell on earth, but uh, that is just one of the many, many places you'll go. Yeah, we do a lot of environmental storytelling in Doom Eternal. We get to see how the UAC evolved, journey into new and fantastic places in hell, and take you to some places you've never been before in a Doom game. wonder what that is. <laughs> we love our little hint. <laughs> Honestly, we're, we're just huge lore nerds at it. And uh, everything we do has a story behind it. So if you're like me and you like to investigate everything, we're going to make it worth your time. It's really true. We're not just making a Doom game anymore. We're building a Doom universe. You all also know we're, we're pretty big tech heads at id, and this uh, id tech 7 engine allows us to display 10 times the geometric detail and greater texture fidelity than we have ever put on screen. Yeah. And as you've seen, all without sacrificing a crazy fast experience running at 60 frames per second. Absolutely. All right, you know what? We've actually got another one of those cool locations we just talked about. You guys want to see a little more gameplay? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> All right. You can never say no to QuakeCon. So let's take a look at what happens when the Slayer arrives on Phobos. <laughs> 